We're at South High School where tonight the Red Wings on Parents Night host Bayport. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin and joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, Bayport had an excellent season last year. They uh, finished 6-2 and two in the league, uh, made it to the playoffs and won a playoff game before getting eliminated by Appleton North. Uh, they're going to be a handful tonight. Yeah, Bayport, what a project, your first game for Coach Hine. Last year, they started off the uh, fall season. They, they make it to the final 16 in football. They do the swimming. They finish in the top 16. They go to the basketball state tournament. They're in the final four, a basket away from, you know, making it to the finals, and then they win the state baseball title. Talk about a program that's got athletes over there. Bayport is it, and guess what Coach, Coach Hine gets tonight? Bayport to start the season. Now, South comes in shorthanded. They don't have a lot of players out. Injuries are a key factor, and they're already going to be missing one guy. Jake Reuter isn't going to play tonight, so they got their hands full. Yeah, they do. South's coming in. You know, I was thinking about it all day today, a little bit about South. They don't have that name guy that, you know, always they got that all-conference linebacker or that big running back. You got a bunch of kids that are going to try to establish themselves tonight, you know, for the year. Brand new kids out there trying to, you know, dictate what they're going to be about and things like that. They changed the offense. They got a new defensive coordinator. It's a brand new team here over at Sheboygan South. I'm interested to see what we're going to get. We all know that your offense is revolved around your quarterback, and if you have a strong quarterback, you should do pretty well on offense. Well, they lost a good one last year in Jake Risto. Ethan Berlin, a junior, is listed as starting tonight. He's a pretty good runner. Yeah, I think we're going to see Ethan and maybe Jake Risty who saw a little action, both those guys. And they're going to kind of run a double uh, running back set tonight, too. And so that's going to be a little bit different. I think they're going to try to, you know, misdirection uh, the, the opponent early on the year. Maybe you'll catch him a little bit off guard. That's what they have in mind. And, you know, one thing I heard is that Coach Hine has a lot of speed this year, and so they're going to use it. Capatillo is a real fast runner. When he came up to the varsity last year as a freshman, returned a kickoff 84 yards. The conference got pretty wise to him right away, but he could be a factor tonight. Yeah, him and Alec Lang, too, just extremely kick back, quick back. So, interested to see. And, you know, like you said, Brandon's just a sophomore. So, got some action as a freshman last year, but now it's a big time getting that starting nod. All right, we're going to step out and we come back. We'll have the starting lineups and the kickoffs for tonight's game. Pop quiz for you. In what movie did I play a gang leader struggling in school? Who was my teacher? What did I learn in math class? Oh, and here's one about you. What did your kid learn in math class today? Know what really matters. Know about your kid's school and know about your kid. Find out 100 ways to know more, do more. United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. If you're not helping after school programs, you're really helping to take them away. That wasn't very nice. After school programs, wouldn't you rather be helping? Back at South High School, let's go through the starting lineup for uh, Bayport, their defense. They'll be starting at defensive end number 43, Kevin Rickert. He's a senior. Number 46 senior at the other defensive end is Mike Jensen. At the defensive tackles are uh, numbers 55, Scott Edges. He's a senior. And then junior, number 72, Caleb Wendricks. At the linebacker positions, outside linebacker, number 47, Adam Peterson is a junior. And on the other side, senior, number 13, Seth Giro. In the middle, they have uh, Jake Meyer is injured. He will not play tonight. They're starting number 30, Justin Vogels at middle linebacker. 
cornerback, left cornerback is Zach Kemp. Number 12, he's a senior, and then senior, number 36, Jake Stadler. Strong safety is number 25 senior, A.J. Kalins. And free safety is senior number six, B.J. Famel. For uh, your Sheboygan South Red Wings on offense, Brady Callahan, number 97, is a junior, will be at tight end. Shane Feustel is a senior, he's at a tackle position. Joe Wilkie, number 54, a senior, is at guard. Number 66, Eric Morgan, a sophomore, Chris, starting at center. The other guard is James Lancer, a junior, number 52. And number 75, senior, Dakota Benerski. Split end is Jeff Kupnik, number 19, he's a senior. At a flanker position is Riley Tudis, a junior, he's number two. Quarterback is number seven, Ethan Berlin, a junior. Uh, fullback, number 42, Dan Kyle, a senior. And at the other running back is number 20, Brandon Capetillo, a sophomore. Well, one thing you'll see out of Sheboygan South is they're going to get the football, Marty, is that... Uh, yeah, I get to see Capetillo right away, and I think the other person back there is Lang. You mentioned, uh, pardon me, Ethan Berlin is the other person back there, Chris. And be returning kicks. We mentioned uh, Bayport last year finished uh, six and two in conference, eight and three overall. Uh, Sheboygan South finished uh, three and nine overall, two and six in conference. Uh, this, by the way, even though they're playing a conference opponent, does not count towards the conference standings. Figure that one out. <laughs> We've been ripping on this conference organization since it's come to fruition, and uh, I'll tell you. One thing leads to another, but at least this year they got north on the road tonight instead of having both teams at home, like was the case the last two years. Well, they got Mitch Wagner stated as their starting kicker, and I don't think that's who's kicking. <laughs> Marty, I think Dylan Clearman is going to be the kicker. So right off the bat, we got to change. That's all right. I'm excited. The weather's like it's fall. Capetillo is 20, he's back, and uh, Berlin on the other side, number seven. It's going to be Capetillo at the four. He's got good speed. Up over the 15. Jukes gets up over the 20 and is brought down at the 27. Good return. Well, Sheboygan South going to be coming out with this new offense. He's calling it a split back gun, and the new change is that Chris Hine will be calling the offensive plays this year. Uh, he's taking over as offensive coordinator, and Dan Yedis, uh, former uh, Sheboygan Falls coach, is going to be running the defense. And we'll talk about that when the Redmen, excuse the Redmen, the Red Wings get the football. Okay, single wide out to the right, two wide outs to the left, one back, back there with uh, Berlin. And jumping offside in the middle of the line is a Bayport player. In the backfield with uh, Berlin is Dan Kyle, number 42. Well, it's the first game and there's probably a little bit of nerves and uh, the Bayport gentleman, uh, Scott Edges there, jumped off sides. Gotta remember they're just kids, first game. Most of these teams probably scrimmaged a week ago, uh, but now it's for real. And an easy five there for uh, South. Okay, first and five ball spotted on the 33. Tudis the wide out, behind him is Capetillo, number 20. Lines are set, not a very good snap. Berlin takes it on a keeper and is spun down right at about the 35 yard line. One of the concer concerns from the scrimmage was the uh, center quarterback exchange as we see South coming right out and uh, to a quick Set here, Marty. Wide to the left is uh, Jeff Rupnick, number 19. A good target. He goes about 6-3. A better snap that time. Quick out to Capetillo. He gets a nice block out there. Jukes one tackler and gets it up over the 45-yard line. Nice play. I didn't catch the kid who threw the block, but it sprung him. How about Riley Tudis? You're right, Marty, right on that. That was a great block, and here they come out again. So they're moving the chains. 
And again, a little bit of a low snap, Marty. It's got to get better. It's got to get better. That was a 12-yard pickup. First and 10, ball on the 47. Capitil along with uh, Tudis wide left. Rupnik out to the right side. Berlin right over the middle. Rupnik had it and dropped it. Got to make that catch. Well, Seth Jarrow got a paw in there, Marty, I think, and that kind of distracted the receiver there, Rupnik. Yeah, there you see the replay, nice replay. And again, I want to thank the guys at the station for allowing us to do these games. It's always a very enjoyable to start the season off. Second down and 10. Same formation as before. Berlin, the quarterback, lines are set. Berlin straight back, firing deep to Rupnik. He had him open, but overshot his wide receiver. Rupnik heading right down the sideline. Boy, got good clearance, Chris, but uh, Berlin not able to make the connection. Yeah, that ball put on target, and that could be six. Kyle in the backfield with uh, Berlin. It is a quick setting offense, Chris. Boy, they're just going one right after the other. Berlin on a crossing pattern. Diving attempt is made, but uh, not able to come up with it was uh, Riley Tudis. So after a completion, we get three pass incompletions by Berlin. And it'll be fourth down and 10. Another one I thought maybe they should have had there, Marty. Yeah, he put it in a pretty good spot. Got to come up with that. Jake Planton, I believe that is, doing the punting. Yeah, that was uh, Thomas Murray. Catch is made at the 10. A flag comes out. Good return otherwise. Making the return was uh, Zach Peterson. There you see him cut up the middle. I couldn't see where the penalty was. There was a penalty flag. I think it's going to go on Bayport. Is that Terry Verstrati out there? Yeah, I was just going to tell our viewers who our officiating crew is. Terry Verstrati, there you see Terry making the call. Scott Otten, Dan Montgomery, Dan Zeller, one of the officials, is a former South High student, and then uh, Mike Gustafson is the uh, last member of the crew. Penalty was on Bayport. So they're going to start inside the 10, and let's see what the new Falcon 4-4 four, four defense is for... Uh, South, movement again. Bayport not off to a good start. Another Coach penalty. Willicket not gonna like these early penalties as that's the third one, I believe. They go back to the uh, four yard line. It's gonna be 15. Well, one thing about Coach Yedis and Sheboygan Falls, when they had their teams, they could tackle. And uh, We ran a 4-4 when I was at Chilton, Chris, and you can do a lot of different things out of it with those four linebackers mixing up your blitzes. A pretty good line play there in the middle of the pack. Making the stop was uh, Joe Wilkie. Well, South's not extremely big or anything like that, but you're right. If they have a 4-4 attacking defense and they can tackle, and that's... One thing I said, Sheboygan Falls not always had the biggest or, you know, fastest kids, but boy, could they tackle. And if Sheboygan South can tackle, uh, they're going to hang in there with a lot of teams. Second down and 13. Ball on the six. Fake handoff. Going to the outside, but getting hit and ridden out of bounds was uh, the quarterback. Zach Thalen. Zach Thalen. Now he was a running back last year, Marty, and they converted him to uh, quarterback this year. 
They had a good one last year at quarterback, and uh, you know, like South, they're missing some of their starters too. Yeah, they had a nice team last year, and you know, as I said, they uh, just dominated the basketball season and won the state championship in baseball. Quick handoff up the middle, and uh, South making a nice stop. Running back that time was uh, Dustin Patterson. Hey, gotta like this. Really? Winning the field position battle here. A three and out. Should have good field position as the uh, Berlin and Capitillo are only at the f their own 45 yard line, Marty. They also lost their all-conference punter, Bayport. Now what do we got? Berlin and Capitillo are back deep, and we get a timeout by South. Uh, didn't quite have their uh, men on the line, and trotting out right in the middle of it all is uh, Willie E.R. Mendy. There you see uh, Coach Yudis not happy with uh, having to take a timeout on something as simple as getting your punt team out there, Chris. Yep. It's early in the season, but uh, let's establish it right here now that uh, there will be uh, discipline for uh, mental errors. Well, as I said, uh, Marshall they, Zahn is uh, the punter, Chris. Yeah, I was going to say, they've lost their punter, Jake Contney, and he's also their big stud linebacker. So uh, this is the uh, backup punter. So now you see the uh, Red Wings back around their own 50. Should get good field position on this. They should have went at the Punt 45. is not very deep. It's going to be downed at about the 40-yard line. So South is going to get it back in great field position. They're going to spot it right on the 40. First and 10 South. Jake Rissi in at quarterback. So doing a little flip-flop between uh, Berlin and uh, Rissi in another timeout. And uh, with this timeout, Scott, let's take a short break. Uh, we'll be right back. No score. 8.30 remaining in the first quarter. Diabetes is a killer. After I was diagnosed, I didn't feel sick, so I didn't listen to my doctor. Then it struck. I had a heart attack, then a stroke, and I was only 49. People with diabetes are two to four times more likely to suffer a stroke than people without diabetes. And many who survive are severely disabled. Don't let diabetes destroy your life. Learn how to reduce your risk of stroke. Call for your free diabetes survival guide. Back here at South High, and there you see, uh, you aren't going to see that very often, <laughs> South huddled up, because once they start an offensive drive, uh, they don't do a lot of huddling. They get the plays from the sideline and uh, pretty much don't go back in to the huddle situation. There you see Chris Hine making his way back to the sideline. And again. The wide out on this side is Cal Blusky, number 16. Capitillo behind him. Rupnik still on the right side. Got a man deep, good defensive play. Out there was Rupnik, he had the field beaten except for one defender, and I believe that was Dustin Patterson broke it up. Yeah, here you'll see the replay. I think it's to Tudis. Tudis, you're right, Tudis. just underthrew him. 
but he was wide open, and that's twice they had receivers downfield and uh, couldn't convert. Once too far and once too short. How about the next time right on the button? Yeah, really. Well, good defensive play by uh, Bayport to uh, prevent the touchdown. Rupnik out on this side along with uh, Tudis, number 19 and number two. And Delay. another whistle. Oh, that's it's not that Delay a game. No. Okay. I haul those out every year because yep. I know at some point we're going to forget what the signals are. I think that's a uniform thing or is that the mouthpiece or something or? Delay of game. That's what I said in the first place. I should have stuck with my guns. Should have. First, uh, pardon me, second down and 15 now. Ball on the 45. Quick out. A little bit of a block by Tudis, but uh, the wide receiver, Rupnik, not able to break it for a big gainer. Bayport also has a new defense. They converted over to a 4-3. So lots of changes. And I was reading the uh, Sheboygan Press uh, pr football preview. It seems like a lot of programs are doing different things this year. All right, here we go. Third down and nine. That was a six-yard pickup. Right up the middle is Rissy. He's got room. He's got the first down. He's to the 20, the 10, 5. Touchdown, Sheboygan South. Rissy had him fooled there, Chris. Took it right up the middle. Well, I like the fact that he went to the left. You know, he saw the pursuers on the right, and he just turned slightly to the left, went right to the pylon, and got in there. Here you're going to see it. Goes off to the right, and then he cuts it back and takes it right up the middle. Broke a little bit of a tackle there, and then just outruns the field. How about that? 39-yard run. South. Out to kick the extra point, Jake Planton for South, and he gets the kick up, and no good, wide left. But South with the lead, 7.41 remaining in the first quarter. They're on top, six to nothing. Look, my first tooth. Dudley, bit off the toothpaste. <laughs> that was the first time you brushed your teeth. And I brush twice a day, every day. Oh, here's that nice dentist, Dr. Benchley. Yep, he showed me how to floss. Why are your teeth blue? I use my mouth guard whenever I play sports to protect my smile. And visit the dentist regularly. Remember, brush twice a day and floss once a day. Parents, there's something you can do to protect your kids from drugs and alcohol. Combine ground beef with egg, tomato sauce, breadcrumbs, and spices. Bake in an oven-safe pan at 350 for 50 minutes. Serve hot. This is Jamie Lee Curtis. Children who eat dinner with their families are less likely to smoke, drink, or use drugs. Mm. So, have dinner together every day. Delicious. A message from CASA, the National Center on Addiction and Substance kick off is Justin Reineke and the kick is away not very deep taken right at the 30 and then knocked down was the uh, running back number nine Nick Beasy Beasy took it at the 30 and was knocked down at the 33 so only a three yard return on that kickoff but a uh, very short kick Chris not uh, not deep enough well, maybe you caught Bayport there on that touchdown, fooled him a little bit. You've been throwing, 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 and quick burst right through the seam there. And uh, all you needed was a little hole, and he got that. And uh, nice run there by Jake Rissey. Broberg in the backfield at the halfback spot. They give it off to the fullback, and right in the middle, knocking him down, was uh, Dakota Banerski, number 75, getting off the bottom of the pile. Yeah, Joe Wilkie there, too. And I told you, this year is a bunch of kids that... Uh, you know, need to establish themselves, gives them own selves the names. There's a bunch of linebackers and all-conference players that have come here in the past. And this year, it's a bunch of new kids. A lot of these guys are uh, first-year players. And uh, I'll tell you what, Joe Wilkie, he's making a name for himself early in these first two series. 
Second down, 11. Salt's getting good penetration that time. Little uh, pull out of the line, but uh, coming through and making the stop for uh, South, Alex Austin. Oh, and Joe Wilkie again. Broberg was the carrier, but uh, little or no gain. Look at Wilkie. Take that back. It was Wilkie, number 54. Coach Will cut already. He's like, we need to find number 54 and walk him. Third down and 11. Wide receiver off to the left. Hand off to Broberg trying to get the corner. He's got it. Cut it back up inside, and he's got the first down up to the 45 or 46-yard line. Good run by Broberg. Cut it back up. Well, Kyle Blusky there, excuse me, Cal Blusky there did the right thing. He turned him inside looking for some uh, Red Wing help, but there was nobody there. Uh, they were all blocked, and that's why the big gainer there of about, what, 11, 12? 13 yards. Ah, 13. First down. Well, you got to stop him again, get penetration. Going deep. He's got the cornerback beat, and he makes the dive and couldn't quite hang on. Making a good attempt was Zach Peterson, number 73. He's a good 83, one. but uh, when he hit the ground, the ball fell loose. There you'll see it. Right at the end. Yep, Peterson, a baseball player, good one. Yeah, you know what he was missing, his glove. That's <laughs> what the problem was. That was, uh, according to my stats here, Chris, the first pass attempt by uh, Bayport. Second down and 10, and a wide receiver. Patterson off to the right. Hand off to Broberg, cutting it back, but is uh, knocked down. One of the persons making the tackle or helping make the stop was Dan Kyle, 42. Broberg picks up two on that play. Yeah, Kyle the uh, fullback on offense and a little bit of linebacker here. Listed at just 5'6", 166. Well, that was something else I was mentioning in that preview today, Chris, is that uh, because the numbers are low, he's going to have to play some of his players uh, both ways, which isn't always a bad thing. Thielen rolling out, fires it back up the middle, almost picked off by uh, Berlin. Ball was tipped and right into the hands of Berlin, and I uh, surprised him. His but dad, Jamie Berlin's up here, and he said, Ethan, you got to make that play. <laughs> you know what? He's right. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like dad telling you what, what's going on. But, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, a great running play, or excuse me, pattern run there by Peterson, but, again, a deflection by the South defense. And that should have been a pick. I remember when I was in high school, we had a guy, Artie Socek, the guy never left the field. He was on everything, and that's kind of what we're seeing out here tonight with uh, Ethan Berlin. Kickoff, return, punt return, offense, defense, although he did sit out the last series as quarterback, and they're going to let it bounce, and it's going to take a good bounce for Bayport, and it's going to die right at the 10-yard line. Great punt that time, but Salt will have it. And they have the lead with 5.05 remaining in the first quarter. It's South 6, Bayport nothing. But we better stay here, Scott, because they're going to get out and start playing football. I believe Jamie Berlin went to South, played uh, oh, yeah. football here. And oh, yeah. I think he played at point. I think he was a pointer. Yeah. That, that I don't know. But I remember him playing at South. Yep. I think he played at, Shibu or excuse me, uh, UW Stevens Point. Eric Morgan, the center. Only a sophomore. Oh, uh, the right tackle jumped. The biggest guy on the field, Banerski. Yeah. They're going to see you every time. Oh, and by the way, Ethan, your dad, when he played, they did have masks when they played. <laughs> and they weren't leather helmets, right? <laughs> He's not that old. First down and 15. Well, what's this? They only went back a little bit. No, they went back five. They're on the six. Well, they were on the six. They were on the 11. Now they're on the six. Okay. My bad. 
Well, they said they were in it. Well. well, that first one is on the 10 over there, that yard marker. Yep, I don't 10 think. 10. Yeah, I don't minus think. Minus 5 wow. is 5. Yeah. Thank you. Good day, Paul Harvey. Okay, five and a quarter. Oh, no, they got it right on the five, but the marker's on the... The marker's on the ten. Yep. <laughs> That's correct. Well, I was looking at the board. That was my fault. Don't... Risto doesn't know what he's doing <laughs> down there. He's still trying to figure out how to run the clock. <laughs> looking deep. Tunis! Oh, knocked away at the end. Boy, it looked like he had it, Chris, and uh, good defensive play. Second down and 15. Well, we've seen that these guys can uh, throw the football a little bit. Yeah, they got a good arm. You know who had a good arm, too, was uh, Risto last year. And of course, we saw that this uh, summer with high school baseball and oh, yeah. uh, Legion ball, and then he pitched a couple games, games with the Sheboygan A's and looked real good. Yep, he went off to Madison yesterday. Yeah, he's a mad toner. Second down and 10. Oh. oh movement again. Another one by Benerski. That'll be a two and a half yard penalty. You know what I don't like, Marty, is where the ball is and it's getting closer and closer to the enemy goal line. Now well, we're going to call it the three, make it a two-yard penalty, and it's going to be second down and 17 or thereabouts. Gotta Kyle be. in the backfield along with Rissy. I'll tell you, Rissy's a really smart guy. He's a good choice to have as a quarterback, somebody that's uh, intelligent. He plays baseball too. There's another penalty. What are we going to call uh, here? They threw a flag. I no. think it's going to be a timeout, I hope, and not have a penalty. Scott Otten, I think, is the one yeah, that threw the Scott, flag. You're right. Scott did throw the flag, but I think uh, they got the timeout first. But that's three timeouts, and we're only in the uh, first quarter. There ain't no loud. Well, I don't like this down here. This is where it gets you get worried about a yeah. sack in well, the end Well, then you don't have enough pen. room for the punt for the punter. Yeah, make some positive yardage out of this. Maybe cut your losses and run the ball a little bit, get it away from the goal line. Yep. I see Rissy number ten. Number fifty two is uh James Lancer. Next Play. to him is Benerski. Yeah, Lancer plays Linebacker on the defense, too. Yeah, he's a good one. Number 54 is uh, Joe Wilkie. He's made some nice plays defensively. This is where, uh, you know, we don't talk about this a whole lot, but, uh, boy, I tell you, field position can be so critical, and uh, especially when you're backed up like South is now. Got to make some positive out of this. It's only second down. You got two, two downs to make some. Some hay here, but... Uh, Steve Reiner on the top camera. Richard Bartson on the uh, field camera tonight. My partner is Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin. In the truck, spinning the dials, Scott Maliff. Rissy uh, gets very little. Nice play out there by Kevin Rickert. That was maybe a pickup of one by Rissy. Well, he ran seven yards to the right, but one yard forward. Yeah. How about another about eight or nine here? It's third down, and uh, I've got 16. They've got 17 on the board. In either case, it's a long ways for a first down. Two backs back there with Rissy. Hand off to Capitillo, and he gets nailed right at the line of scrimmage. No gain there. Yeah, Justin Vogels was all over that little situation. <laughs> Capitillo is a little guy, too. He's not very big. 
He goes 5'7", uh, five, 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 155, and that might be stretching it a bit. Boy, you can just see the momentum swing a little bit here. Chance for that interception, you don't get that. Now a couple costly penalties, and now Bayport, who's been pinned back all day and struggling, has a chance to pick up some good field position. Thomas Murray in the kick. He had a 41-yarder last time, Marty. Gets a good protection, gets it away. Taken at the 43. And making the return with Zach Peterson. Bayport's gonna have it uh, deep in South Territory at the 33. First and 10. Oh. Well, nice punt by Murray. And uh, Peterson with a nice little return, kept possession. I think they got a different quarterback in there. Number 10 is Alex Schmidt. Schmidt is a junior. New running backs back there too. Alex Peterson, number 29. And number 24 is uh, Dylan Clearman. And a good stop made on Clearman. I think getting off the bottom of the pile was uh, Schwartz. Long first quarter with That's, all this throwing, Marty. Yeah. Alex Lang actually made the stop, number 23. First time that uh, the Pirates have been in uh, South Territory. Two-yard gain by Clearman. It's second down and eight, ball on the 31. Schmidt. Nice throw by Schmidt, and a good catch made by Peterson, Zach Peterson. Got to watch where that 83 is. They he, like him. Yep. He's the guy you got to take care of. He's knocked out of bounds at about the uh, 21 or 22-yard line. Actually, it's near the 23, so we'll call it the 23-yard line. Pickup of eight. 2.49 remaining in the first quarter. Second back through is hit and stood up and knocked back. Lancer making the initial contact. Second down and eight, ball on the 21. Right up the middle, and a good stop made by number 54, Wilkie. Boy, Wilkie's name has been called a lot this quarter, Chris. Well, I'm impressed with the tackling so far, Marty. I know it's early, and a lot of those guys are playing both ways. I hope they have, you know, the juice for the whole thing, but I got, I'm very impressed with their uh, tackling and defense have been real solid so far. There's a nice shot of Wilkie. It's third down and five. Watch 83. Trying to put somebody in motion, but uh, nobody moved and we get uh, I believe it's going to be a delay of game unless they get a timeout. Yeah. Timeout. Something wasn't right. You could see uh, Schmidt lift up his uh, right heel to send the guy in motion and nobody moved. And at that point, uh, coach decided to call a timeout. With that, with uh, 128 remaining, we'll take a short break. Congratulations on the promotion. I hope you're saving the extra money. You gotta put it in stocks. If you wanna get ahead. No, no, bonds. And oh, CDs. You can do stick it under the mattress. <laughs> you want getting plenty of advice, but not enough facts? Visit saveandinvest.org. No confusing advice, no sales pitch. Just unbiased information and tools to help you manage your money with confidence. Saveandinvest.org. Chris, I think they might go for it on fourth down if they don't get it here on third. 
I think they're in two down territory, Marty. Four down. <laughs> Four down, yeah. Well, two down. <laughs> two to downs me. left. Two downs to get the two, yeah, or the, the three All yards. All right, Schmidt's going to duck under center, bark out the signals. Got wide receivers to the left and in motion. And draw play. And it's wide open right up the middle and taken down at about the three yard line is uh, Dylan Clearman. I knew they were going to do that, Marty. As soon as they brought them out, cleared that guy out, I knew they were going up the middle there. Actually, that was Adam Peterson. Alec Peterson, I mean. Kyle had a chance at him, but I, I knew they were going to do that, Marty. I just, I knew exactly what was going to happen there. That was a 16-yard pickup. Biggest one for them all day. Yes, sir. First and goal ball on the uh, two-yard line. Give it off to uh, Clearman, but he's uh, cut down at about the uh, two-yard line. Andy Dexter, the uh, guard for uh, the Pirates, had a nice seal block there, but South was still able to get around there and make the stop. That was a nice play. Actually, that was a loss of two, Chris. By the swarming Red Wings. It's going to be second and goal from the four-yard line. Great defensive play that time. Broberg back in along with uh, Seth Jaro. Jaro had an older brother that was uh, one of the leading rushers in the conference last year. Delay a game, five-yard penalty, that'll help. Wow, that would seem like it was fast. Well, that seemed really fast. <laughs> well, we'll take it. We're not that way. That yeah. changes everything. All the way back to the nine yard line. Oh, we had movement by uh, Zach Lady. And uh, that's going to push Bayport back some more. 19 seconds remaining in the first quarter. And uh, Mr. Martin is down to the bottom of the sheet. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> changing the momentum. Well, this, well, I was going to say there's going to be one or two plays left, Marty, in the quarter. So you'll be all right. Not if they start passing. <laughs> it's only second down. Yeah. You know, wow. they have three downs to get the yardage. But uh, at this point, they're marching backwards. Schmidt still at the controls this series. Fake handoff. He's rushed. Had a hand on him, but not able to get him down. His pass into the end zone. Knocked away. Good defensive play by Ethan Berlin. Let's see who gets that pressure. Tudis. Tudis. Forcing the uh, quick throw. But he's got to make that play. He whiffed. Yeah. Forced him back up inside, yeah, which was did. a good thing. Yep. And I'll tell you, Peterson looked to be wide open. And you're right, Berlin made a great play. Nate and Huffman, 86, is uh, the slot back. And uh, 83, BB, uh, Zach Peterson, is on the inside. Handoff. And getting knocked down is Thalen. He's going to go nowhere. Knocked right down at the line of scrimmage, and uh, that'll be the quarter. Lancer, Wilkie, Huffman stopped him. Quarter, 6 nothing, favor of the red team. When we come back, it'll be uh, fourth down for uh, Bayport. On this, yes. and they can't, can't catch, catch the number, the number of the of kicker, Mitch Wagner, I believe it is, and he 
does a stutter step and never got the ball up very high and it got kicked right into the line of scrimmage. Mitch Wagner that was. And the kick is obviously no good. Well, what was worse is the South guys are all standing there. They could have picked it up and run, but uh, Abe Yang catches the ball. <laughs> he just stands there. And the officials stand there, and we took off a couple seconds. But the better part is no score for Bayport. Boy, they were down to what, two? Penalties, penalties, penalties. The ball is going to be spotted on the 16 yard line. It's going to be first and 10 south, and they have dodged a bullet there, Chris. Rupnik wide left. Tudis in the slot on that side. He go, he's coming in motion towards us. Handoff inside to Capitillo, and uh, he maybe picks up a yard at best. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> Everybody was just standing to see Duh, what to do. What should I do, coach? Well, I didn't know what was worse, the field goal kicker walking up there not knowing how to kick or the uh, south guys getting the ball and nobody speaking or doing anything. Pick up a one yard that time. Rissy is the uh, quarterback. Sends Tudis in motion again. He's looking for Tudis. Rissy, oh, brought down. Making the stop was uh, number 43, Kevin Rickert. And uh, Rissy losing yardage. Lost about five on that play, Chris. Wow. It's going to be third down and 13. Well, Tudis was uh, over here in the flat, but he was covered. So Rissy tried to check down, but there was nothing there. So he tried to make something out of nothing. And uh, he got nothing. There's an offside, jumping offside was uh, Benny Berry, number 60. He was coming. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem was the ball wasn't snapped, I think is the rules, Marty. I know it's our first game. That's a lot of penalties on Bayport so far. Well, it makes it a more manageable third down Attempt here, it's only third and eight. Let's see here, penalties. South, South, Bayport twice, now three times. So they lead the penalty parade three to two, Bayport does. Fake handoff, and an out pattern right into the hands of the defender, Zach Kemp. Uh, not a good throw that time by Rissy, and Kemp gets it all the way down near the five-yard line. It was either way overthrown or woefully underthrown. It was hard to tell because he had two wide receivers out there. That was uh, not a good decision. And I agree. I didn't know which one he was throwing to, but uh, he hit the one in the middle, which was the wrong color jersey. First down and goal, ball spotted right on the five yard line. Thalen is uh, back in at quarterback, Chris. He's got good feet. Peterson uh, wide right, and a pitch out to uh, number fumble. 22, fumble. Broberg, and we got a fumble, and it rolls into the end zone, and the South guys are jumping on it like they've got the recovery, and they do. Zach Broberg, I believe, with the fumble, Marty, and what a break. All right. Uh, Chris, they need to get something going, though. They're not going to win a ball game six to nothing. No, and uh, since the, those impressive couple first few drives, Bayport's put a lot of pressure on covering the receivers and uh, kind of stalled a little bit here. You're right, need some positive yards. 
What a break though for South. This is better than the uh, the bad ex uh, field goal because now they get it out to the 20, which I thought they should have when they missed inside the 20, but uh, anyway. First and 10 South, ball right on the 20 yard line. Rissy still in at quarterback. And Tudis in motion again. Too much time. Come on, oh, guys. Motion. This is not good. I think you got Brady Callahan with some movement there. Illegal procedure. So, Chris, you're probably right on that account. Yeah, it's a little hitch. First down and 15 ball. Spotted on the 15 yard line now. Ah, I don't like it. They keep moving up. <laughs> You know, it's hard enough to move the ball down the field. You don't need to be shooting yourself in the foot. Especially towards their goal line like this. Yeah, the field position has not been good for South. Most of this, uh, well, all of this second quarter. Another pass thrown up for grabs. And uh, the person that had the best shot at it was uh, A.J. Kalnins. And uh, he wasn't able to come up with it, thank goodness, because he plays for the other side. But Rissy not making a good decision again on a pass attempt. Well, the running game's been bogged down, so they're trying to pass. And uh, I'll tell yeah. you what, you keep giving teams chances like this, they're going to... You know what, I think, Chris, the running game <laughs> is bogged down because they're not running it. They've only got like five or six attempts yeah. in the ball game. One, two, three, four, five. Five running attempts so far. Yeah, but the only big hitter was that Rissy play. Second down and 15. Almost a Bayport player jumped offside. Little option, option action and uh, Rissy able to get the ball over to uh, Capitillo, but he didn't get much, maybe a yard at best. No, it was Lang that time, Marty, 23, Lang. Lang, we'll there give Lang one yard on the carry. And a lucky catch by him because it was thrown a little bit behind him there. And again, Well, Rissy waited till the last moment before he pitched the ball. Third down and 14. A good shot. And Richard handoff inside and nothing doing there. You know what you got, Marty? There's a lot of guys, I think, getting tired here. You're going to maybe have to exchange some guys in on defense or in at guard or tackle and get some guys series off because some of these kids have been playing every down and they might be wearing just a tad. Fourth down. Kick is away. Comes down at the 45 and the ball, re the, the receiver is hit and knocked back at the 45 yard line. Zach Peterson doing a good job of hanging on to the ball. We have a South player down at the 48. Can't catch a number of that kid. Could be Kyle. It's 17? No, 42 it could be. Wyatt Pletz maybe, or number 15, or four. Travis Aarons. Oh, oh no, I think you might be right, Marty. I don't want to guess here. Could be Plutz, you're right. I think you're right, Marty. Murray with a pretty good kick, got it up in the air. Coverage was good and they were able to uh, stop Peterson. But uh, Bayport again is gonna get it in excellent field position, this time at the uh, South 45. Yep, Wyatt Pletz was the uh, player that was down. He's coming off under his own power, which is always good. Here you get a good shot. Oh, he got hit by his own player, Chris. Kind of a leg whip type thing. Yeah, it collapsed his uh, right knee. Hopefully he'll be okay. It's always scary. Maybe we can get that on. Instant slow-mo replay. <laughs> All righty, first and 10 for the Pirates. 
wide receivers out and going in motion is number 86, uh, Huffman. Thalen dropping screen. back. They got the Z, the screen set up, and it's complete, but only for a couple of yards. Somebody forgot to block Yang on that play. Okay. I didn't get who made the catch. We'll give it to Broberg. It's going to be second down and eight. Well, the Pirates have been in uh, South Territory for a long time, Marty. You know, that was the first pass completion of the game for Bayport. Well, oh. little screen play. Hand off. Broberg breaks through the pile and uh, throwing wow. him down, making a nice stop, was Travis Aarons. If he gets by Aarons, he's going to be running. He'd still be running. Nice tackle again by South. Pickup of only three yards. Boy, I thought he went for longer than that, Chris. Defenses stand tall pretty much, except for that one running play, Marty. But they're going to be asked to do it again on third down. Just the second quarter, just under seven minutes. Thielen under center. Wide receivers left and right to set. Thielen firing the out pattern and incomplete. And uh, boy, Chris, looked like he had his hand on the receiver's back. I think that was uh, Alec Lang on the coverage, but uh, in either case, pass goes incomplete. Fourth down. You would think they're gonna pin South back here again, but they might go for it. I don't, I'm not a big uh, fan of that. Left their, uh, Why don't you pin South back? They've been struggling on offense. You're gonna give South a little mojo here if you don't get it. Come on, Red, here we go now. Come on, fans. Yeah, really. Get up off your feet. Reverse, reverse. Uh, big number 84 is going nowhere. Alexander Hansen. Cal Blusky. Stay home, stay home, stay home. For all you youth football players out there. <laughs> yeah, really. Good job. I think that's just a mistake by uh, Bayport there, Marty. Uh, get south out of the hole, you're right, Chris. Uh, but I'll tell you, Bayport must feel pretty comfortable with their uh, defense. Yeah, one big hitter here and they're not gonna be so comfortable with the scoreboard. Gotta go now, South. Got out of your own end zone here. It's time to make some hay. Rissy still in at quarterback. In motion is Johnson. And Rissy taking it right up the middle, cuts to the outside and picks up a quick eight yards. And into Bayport territory for the Oh, they're going to spot him just outside the 50. But uh, pretty close to uh, Bayport territory where they have not been here in the second quarter. They lead 6 nothing. Bayport's been knocking on the door, but penalties cost them and a missed field goal. Yeah, they have not and played a, a good first half. I mean, uh, when we saw them play last year, you know, we'd, we'd expect a lot more. And I'm sure uh, Kirch... Coach uh, Mike over on the other sideline feels the same way, but uh, heck, we'll take it. South playing a good game. Little option, oh, there's a block in the back by Benerski not called, and then a flag does fly in. That play did not look right from the very beginning. The spacing was uh, bad. I think it's a good point, Marty. My thoughts exactly. And we get a penalty on uh, South. Blocking variety. Well, if they called it on Benerski, they called it about three seconds late. Here's the replay, Marty. There you see Benerski with a push in the back. And then the flag comes flying in. So it might have been uh, against the big guy, Dakota. Well, first of all, it was about a loss of three by Capitillo. And then you get the penalty. It's going to remain second down and about 16. Ball spotted on the 37. Inside handoff. 
Keel, Zippo. To Keel, and uh, yeah, he gets nothing. 35, he actually lost two yards. Boy, that penalty. Both teams have been hurt by penalties. Not that there's any good time for a penalty, but oh. both, time, uh, both teams have uh, cost themselves with their own mistakes. Five, 10, 15, 16, 17, third and 17. Under five minutes here in the second quarter. Rupnik, wide left, Tudis in the slot. Two backs with uh, Rissy. Fires it downfield, nice catch, but it's gonna be short of the first down. Making the grab was uh, Jeff Rupnik. Good hands there by Rupnik. And uh, they're gonna spot it at the uh, 47 yard line. They're gonna punt, good decision here. Pin them back. Bayport's offense has pretty much been stifled all night by that uh, new 4-4 defense and Coach Yidis. Fourth punt for South Marty. Yeah, they've been punting away, that's for sure. Fourth down and about six. Kick is away. And uh, making the catch was Peterson. And uh, I'll tell you, that guy's fearless, Chris. Yeah. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. Making the uh, stop for South was Travis Barber. First and 10, Bayport. 350 remaining in the half. South still on top, six to nothing. We haven't said that enough. Way back at uh, 7.41 of the first quarter, uh, we got the touchdown by Rissy. 39 yard run. Thalen uh, gets around the corner, he's up to the 40 and knocked out of bounds at about the 45 yard line. 15 yard pickup by Thalen, too much. Get him a little bit outside, use that running back technique. Well, you mentioned he was a running back last year and uh, showing some good feet on that play. It's be first and 10. And ball right on the 45 yard line, so a 15 yard pickup. Clock is stopped, we're at 343, six to nothing south on top. Wide receivers left and right. Right up the middle. Yeah, right up the middle for a quick five yards. Making the stop was uh, Lancer and Kyle. First time we've seen something like that today. Just a quick hitter, very effective for the Pirates. Well, you know you mentioned something before, Chris, about uh, South getting tired and those plays up the middle, you know, they're like body punches. You know, you wear them down, wear them down, and all of a sudden the guy misses a tackle and you're gone. Big back up the middle, gets pulled back. Good defensive play that time by a host of Red Wings at the bottom of the pile was Kyle. Gonna call it third and about two and a half, Marty. Oh, Just quick hitters up the middle. Much better on defense that time. Lottie made the carry that time for uh, Bayport, but only picked up two yards. A big fourth down, third down play. It's third and three. Wide receivers left and right. We got two men in the backfield. Thalen's still at quarterback. He drops hands it off right up the middle laddie is not gonna get it but he won't stop running and he almost gets the first down but i think they're gonna call him a yard short yeah boy he was running hard chris yes he was good effort there good job by the officials not to blow the whistle early we're down to about 210 left bayport does have two timeouts and it's going to be fourth and one and i think they're since they went for it last time they're going to go again here you'll see the replay Watch him keep his legs moving. Cuts back, he gets good pressure, but uh, South kind of gave up on the play a little bit. You know, they didn't stay with it like they've been uh, really all night. Watch for the quick hitter up the middle and watch for a delay of game too. They took a long time to get in. Straight up the middle is uh, Thalen and uh, he muscles forward for about four yards and a first down. Brendan Dick. 140 
remaining. Just gonna say, Marty, Brendan Dickman there for uh, Bayport, the guard there, cleared out a lot of Red Wings there. Hurry up offense, minute 42 here. Three yard pickup that time by Thalen. Two timeouts for Bayport. Thalen dropping back, quick out. Wide receiver cannot make the catch. That was Broberg, number 22. Well, we can all come up for air, Chris. Yeah, I don't know if they needed to rush, rush, rush there. I mean, the, the clock had, you know, yeah. stopped. Make sure you get everybody set. Make sure your play call. That seemed like uh, Bayport hustled a little bit too much, which probably caused the incompletion here. There you see Dan Yedis, Mike Rank. And yeah. in the forefront is uh, Chris the Hine. The boss. Yeah. <laughs> 133 remaining. South on top, 6 to nothing. Here you see him yelling, trying to get instructions out. A lot of wide receivers this set. Good pressure by Wilkie. South closing in. Oh, Thalen got through the group and picks up about five or six yards. Yang with but a, the clock will keep running. Yang with the shoestring tackle there. 117, 116, 115. Still two timeouts. Pick up a five. Thalen straight back. Quick out. Incomplete. Trying to get uh, Peterson. It's going to be fourth down. Third down, pardon me. Oop, fourth down. I missed a down. Whoops. Oh, they had the incompletion. Then they had the scrambling gainer. And then they... Uh, this that, play here. Yep, incomplete again. No big play here, South. No big play. Bend, but don't break. Fourth down and about five. Don't get caught watching the paint dry on a, like <laughs> a, you know, an out and go, you know. Don't exactly. be... Give up the five, but not the big one. Thielen on a draw play, and it's wide open. Running up the middle is Lottie, and he's down inside the 25-yard uh, line. Oh, man. Just what you said they shouldn't do happened. One minute left. They're right up at the line of scrimmage. Again, they got lots of time, Marty. Ball spotted on about the 23. That was a 15-yard pickup by Lottie. He's been a... Good pick me up this drive. There's the out and Thielen faking the out and then comes back over the middle, but the pass is incomplete. Good job by Thielen trying to fool him there. Looking him off. He's only one for five so far, Chris. Coming off is uh, Abe Yang. 50 seconds remaining. It's second down and 10. Broberg in the backfield. Thielen dropping back again, looking. Gets rushed by oh. Bernerski, sidesteps. Touchdown. And Lottie, a Thady, Thielen's gonna go into the end zone for a touchdown. Three South players missed tackles and that allowed Thalen to uh, run it in from the 23 yard line. And those 38 guys, seconds remaining. Those guys don't want to see film tomorrow. They're uh, very identifiable and uh, like I said, you had chances, had chances, and now you have a chance to be trailing when you pretty much controlled most of the game. As you enter halftime. Snap is good, the placement and the kick is true. And with 38 seconds remaining until halftime, Bayport takes the lead seven to six. Salam. Yeah. Salam. Hey, you are. We all want the same thing. Peace. And Rotary Clubs are making it happen. Through international scholarships for young people to promote peace and understanding around the world. Rotary. Humanity in motion. Back at South High School where uh, Bayport finally took advantage of the field position they've been having this entire second quarter and was able to uh, 
Move it down, mostly on uh, the legs of quarterback Zach Thalen. He uh, had a lot of yards of uh, that possession, Chris. I've got him for 38, 46 yards. Tell you, three big plays. The one earlier going in the first quarter, the uh, fourth down play on that play is basically the only big plays they've had. And uh, they took advantage in the uh, mixed extra point now. Gives uh, Bayport the lead, 7-6. to six. Kick is a good one. Capitillo coming over and uh, lets it bounce out of bounds. It'll be a penalty. South will have good field position. Well, maybe they can, uh, well, they have no timeouts. That's a situation. Uh, maybe they can get themselves down the field a little bit and uh, get themselves into some type of field goal position. Actually, Thalen had 51 yards on that last possession, Chris. Ooh. Wouldn't have been for uh, Lottie with a 15-yarder and a couple of two-yard runs who had 19. That was a, actually, uh, they took advantage of just a long drive. We'll figure that out. Have that for you at halftime. It's going to be first and 10 south at the 35. They do have 38 seconds left. They've had wide receivers open deep, but uh, they've not been able to make the connection. Rissy looking deep again and uh, trying to make the catch was Tudis along the sideline, uh, but it's incomplete. Kind of threw his fingers there, but may have been out of bounds anyways. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Second down and 10. Rissy taking it up the middle. Gets positive yardage up over the... 40, and then we got a late flag coming in. Could be a face mask, Marty. Yeah, it was pretty much of a high hit. But uh, without that penalty flag, Marty, the uh, clock was going to be rolling. Five yard variety. Should get him a first down, and it does. First down, Red Wings. But the problem is 27 seconds left, Marty, and no timeouts. It'll stop on a first down, though, so we got to get at least 10, boys. Ball on the 47, first and 10, 26, 25, 24, 23. And we had movement on the side, but no flag. Rissy keeps it. I don't know oh. about this. This is going to be it. Gets it down or up to the 50. Oh. Pick up a three, but uh, they might just let it run down now. They don't want to, but they're not going to have a choice. That was not the play you want there. That's. And movement on 42, Kyle. So that'll be half, Marty. They'll decline that penalty. Give uh, Rissy maybe a gain of one on the play. And that should be the half. Illegal procedure is declined. And we're at halftime with Bayport trailing almost the entire half until 38 seconds remaining before they scored on a long run by uh, Zach Thalen, a 23-yarder. And uh, at halftime, as you can see, Bayport on top, seven to six. What do triglycerides or trigs have to do to get noticed? Normal triglycerides are below 150. High triglycerides increase your risk of heart disease. And if you're a woman, that risk goes up even more. After standing in the shadows of good and bad cholesterol, triglyceride, also known as the forgotten fat, is ready to share the spotlight and the attention. Remember to ask your doctor about the good, the bad, and the forgotten fat. And remember, normal triglycerides are under 150. This message brought to you by Sister to Sister, working together for healthy hearts. This is a banana. This is a cat. 
This is fire. This is harmless and actually helpful to some people. Don't believe everything you hear. The fact is that every major health organization rejects smoked marijuana. Now that the smoke is cleared, discover truecompassion.org. most dangerous thing our kids have to deal with today isn't violence it isn't drugs it's unhealthy food too many of our kids are overweight they're headed for diabetes heart problems or worse they need to eat healthy things like vegetables fruits high fiber vegetarian foods as our kids grow the right foods can help protect them from obesity heart problems diabetes and even cancer to find out more call for a free booklet or visit our website kidsgethealthy.org One day, you were simply struggling to be a dad. The next, you're coping with a diagnosis of childhood cancer. CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. Back at South High School, we're getting ready to uh, start second half action. Uh, there is rain on the way. Uh, you guys won't experience the delay as you watch this broadcast, but uh, we will. If there's lightning, supposedly in Kiel. But yeah, Kiel, got, Kiel is getting it there in a right lightning delay as we speak. Uh, let's give you some halftime stats. First for uh, Bayport, they had 19 carries for 95 yards. Uh, they'd. Uh, did a good job of running the ball, especially in the second quarter on that uh, long drive. Uh, their leading rusher was uh, Zach Thalen. He had five carries for, uh, seven carries for 58 yards and a touchdown. Passing was another uh, story, however, for Bayport. They were only one for eight for two yards. So they totaled out at uh, 97 yards in the first half. They did have five penalties, which uh, did hurt them. South, 
ran the ball 12 times for 53 yards. The, the bad part about that, Chris, is one play of 39 yards accounted for uh, almost all of it. Passing was not good either. They only hit on three of 11, and they did have an interception for uh, 30 yards. So uh, South totaled out with only 83 yards of offense in the first half, and uh, they did have six penalties. So uh, they shot themselves in the foot uh, on and off throughout the first half with that. It did seem to me, Chris, as uh, the half moved along that uh, Bayport's defense started to assert itself. I know there's popcorn all over. <laughs> it was good going down. See Jamie Berlin. Well, thinking about, you know, as you said, uh, a lot of similarities, 97 yards, as you said, for Bayport, 83 for South, five penalties to six, one turnover each. You know, one team had 11 minutes of time of possession, the other 13, and uh, each team, you know, team turned the ball over once or whatever. Each team almost like identical, and you're right. The big 23-yard play, you know, was basically a fifth of the, the offense for uh, Bayport, and the 39 was almost half for South. So almost identical, and the difference is the extra point right now. But I think you're right. South's got to get something going on offense. But their first job here is to, you know, maybe get, get uh, Bayport pinned back here because they struggled. They struggled for most of the game until that fourth, you know, the end of the half. Maybe it goes back to that two-way platoon thing, you know, where you got a lot of guys playing both ways. I, I don't know. Um, but uh, we'll see how they come out here. Nice fresh legs to start the second half. And uh, I, I was very impressed with the tackling of Sheboygan South. And uh, the defense looked pretty good. That uh, long drive late in the uh, second quarter was an 11-play, 70-yard drive, Chris, and uh, it was a dandy. And uh, we had mentioned already that uh, Zach Thalen was uh, the main architect behind that with his uh, running. And if you think before that, they only had 27 yards. So, <laughs> Really? So it all was on one, one drive, but uh, the offense has got to get going a little bit to help out that defense, there's no question. South's uh, defense has been pretty consistent uh, throughout the half. Let's see if they can do that again in this half. Uh, Jake Planton on the kick is very short. Wow. Taken at the 33 and getting knocked down at the 40 was uh, Nick Beasy. That's two kickoff in a row that just did not carry very long. You can't give teams the ball at the 40 yard line. And that's exactly what we did not expect there. Uh, there is not a drop of of uh, precipitation at the time. So hopefully that'll stay away. And the wind is also non-existent as the flags are uh, stagnant. Okay, they're gonna give him the ball at the 42. It's first and 10 Bayport. First back through is uh, Lady and uh, he gets stacked up at about the 44. Lady did a nice job of running late in the uh, second quarter. Think Picked that, up 19 yards. Sorry about that, Marty. I was just going to say that's something that Bayport kind of saw towards the end of the quarters. Up the middle seemed to be uh, the place to, you know, gain some yards. They, they went with an outside run for a big gainer, and then they had up the middle some success. So let's see if they continue with those two trends. Hand off to Broberg, and uh, he gets tackled at just short of the 50-yard line. Justin Reinecke on the play there. Reinecke, a baseball player. I think he's a great player. He's He can sure play some outfield, and I love the way he handles the bat. And uh, Good speed shown there by him. Broberg picked up five. It's going to be uh, third down and three. Ball at the uh, Bayport 49-yard line. Second back through, trying to cut it back, and is gonna be close to a first down. We'll have to see where they measure it. Two, Looks like the, they might have it. Two officials, two different marks. Which one are they gonna take? Broberg on the <laughs> carry. Scott Otten's got it up another foot, and the one on the Bayport side's got it back. <laughs> All right, Chris, <laughs> you're up. They, they make it or not? I, where Scott Otten had it, I would say the answer would be yes. Where it is right now, I'm going to call it short. All righty. See if Chris is going to be right. And it's short. You're right, Chris. What eyes? It wasn't that. It was the uh, mark on the south side here. 
or the south, you know, or the west side here that uh, I think it was over, but uh, they went with the east official, east side official, and he chose to uh, mark it back a little bit. So we're going to have a fourth and one. Fourth and one, and the last time they did this, they ran right up the middle. Be surprised if Thady just keeps it, but he doesn't. He g cuts off right tackle, and a uh, good play call that time by Bayport. Fooled to both of us. I would have said the same thing. It's going to be first and 10. Ball is going to be spotted at the 45. That was a six yard pickup. Actually, it's a four yard pickup. First back through, Lady is hit right at the line of scrimmage and stacked up. No gain on that play. Getting up off the bottom of the pile is uh, Dan Kyle. Well, one thing we haven't mentioned much is the uh, two tackles for uh, Bayport. Wendrick, 72, and Dubow, 73 here. They're each 290 pounds, and over the course of a game, 290 pounds is a lot of weight to throw around on people. Yeah, they're going to wear you down. Option play, pitch out to Lady. He's got wide open space. He's down to the 30, 25, 20, 15, and knocked down at about the 11 yard line. Oh, great play that time by Bayport. That's well, how you run the option. Well, Berlin did the right thing by turning him in. Watch Berlin. He's going to turn him in, but there's no red shirts there. And just watch yeah. the troops in front. Block, 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 block. And uh, that was a 33 yard run by Lady. First down at the 12. Inside handoff, Lady again. And he gets pushed back. Mara Mendel there, 59, I think he was in there. Ball spotted at the 11, a pickup of uh, one yard that time. Mara. It's gonna be second down and nine. Yeah, Mara Mende there uh, just stifled at number 59. Option again, this time, Thalen keeps it and gets down near the five yard line before he's hammered down. By Klish, his own guy, I think. <laughs> Oops. I think he ran into the back of uh, 66. Brandon Klish, this big center there. South with a timeout and uh, not the kind of start you wanted if you are oh. a south sider. Ball is gonna be spotted at the five yard line. going to be a third down and about three. <laughs> Bayport uh, did it on the ground that drive late in the second quarter at 11 play drive. 10 of those plays, Chris, were uh, running plays. And uh, on this drive, they're doing it all on the ground so far. And they've always been moving forward. They haven't had any uh, negative plays. The worst was a lady being stopped at the line of scrimmage. It's third down and three, ball spotted on the five yard line. Bayport on top, seven to six in what has been uh, really a good defensive battle. South is... Uh, Played very good. Had a little trouble on that 70 yard drive and a little bit of trouble here, but uh, hopefully they'll step it up and uh, put the clamps on Bayport. Thing is, they're gonna have to do it this play and next play because Bayport will go four downs. Well, they can also get a first down, Marty. They're at the five, they can get to the two for a first down. Um, Shady. Dancing, he dives to the end zone, and he got in. Touchdown by Zach Thady. Five-yard run, and uh, Bayport up 13 to six. Well, 
Well, Zach Thalen's been pretty effective and uh, nine play 58 yard drive. Snap and the kick and it's good. That makes it 14 to six with 8.14 remaining in the third quarter. If you give me a fish. If you give someone a fish. You feed them for a day. Teach someone to fish. You feed them for a lifetime. Give me a fish, and you'll feed me for a day. Teach me to fish, and you'll feed me for a lifetime. Through Volunteers of America, you can help change lives in your community. Longest drive of the day, Marty, for either team. Three minutes and 46 seconds, and... Uh, oh, that one in a second quarter, it'd be longer than that. No, 340. Come on. 11, please? Yep. Really? Holy cow. Oh, the, that one was 312. The scoring drive was three minutes, 12 seconds. They also had a 340 earlier where they missed that field goal. That was a good stop by South. Kept them from punching it in. Getting ready to kick off is uh, Alexander Hansen, number 84. Or is that number 24, Dylan Clearman? I think it's 24. Changed their kicker on us here. Capitillo takes it on the five, up to the 10, 15, and is knocked down at the 16 yard line. Now that's how you do punt kickoff coverage. You kick it down to the corner and you keep them bottled up. Very good point, Marty. And that's another thing. I mean, they started at the 42. And uh, Ooh, bad field position too. Uh, again. They're gonna give it to him at the 17. And uh, something that South hasn't done is a long drive, and they need to counter what uh, they just saw put in front of them. Uh, one, two, three, four, interception. It's a second quarter action. One, two, three, and a punt. Yep. One, two, three, four, and a punt. And then four plays to end the quarter. So uh, they haven't strung many plays together. That's a good start there. Rissy all the way up to the uh, 25. Pick up an eight. Second down for South. They need to get something going. Rissy barking out the signals. South's line is set. Pops one up over the middle, but uh, nobody was open. He looked to the left, and it looked like he had a wide receiver open, but uh, he double clutched, and uh, that was just uh, enough. Yeah, Rupnik was open there, but uh, didn't see him right away. And then tried to pull it back and throw it. Yeah, yeah. Good. Tudis was open over the middle too, but the ball just didn't get there. Of course, there was a little pressure from the white shirts. Ooh, okay, it's third down and two. Let's see what South does here. Tudis is the slot on the right side. Rupnik wide right. Bad snap. Blitz, blitz, and blitz. And a bad snap, and then they had a blitzing linebacker, uh, Seth Jaro, and that's all it took. Rissy never had a chance. Also send a back there, or excuse me, a defensive back, Zach Kemp. So everybody was coming, Marty. Just pick a number who was coming. Ball is back at the 19 yard line, a loss of six. And under seven minutes now here in the third quarter. Things aren't looking so good as they were with seven minutes seven to the first quarter. Murray's kick is away. Taken right at the 50 and hammered. Putting the label on him was Justin Reineke. Or was that number three? No, I think Corey Bogenschutz. I think it was Reineke. Marty, you made a comment just before about uh, 
how uh, daring those guys are. And that time, <laughs> he was daring, but not very intelligent. First and 10, ball spotted on the 48-yard line. There you see that big number 73, Brent DeBosch. Did you return punts, Six Marty? Four. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hippo and I. Yes. We were dandies. <laughs> I remember uh, I, we were playing one of the Appleton schools, and uh, they faked the punt. So Hippo and I came up. This, I uh, can't remember the kid's name, big guy, ran right by us. <laughs> Threw the long pass. He caught it. Hippo and I are neck and neck. Now, Hippo was a fast runner. He went to state in, in track. I was the one that caught him. <laughs> Neiman was not very happy. We sat on the sideline for the next play. <laughs> and that time they did punt. I think Donnie Otten was back there that time. But uh, I was just going to say, though, you, yeah, plays like that, you know, you got to be a little smarter. Remember that year when uh, I think uh, Dewey Stevens, no, Dewey, yeah, Dewey Stevens was the head coach at North, and he always had his kick returners go away from the ball? Yep. They never went after it? No, I don't think it was Dewey. I think it was Coach or was it? Maybe it was Coach Tudis or something. Well, it doesn't matter, but starting to sprinkle, Marty. Not in here. All right, first and 10. 6.41 remaining in the third quarter. Bayport on top, inside reverse. And uh, taken off and running is uh, Broberg, and uh, he gets it all the way down inside the 30-yard line on a little inside reverse play if we get a Get a replay of that. We'll see him go from the left side off to the right and uh, just uh, ran to daylight. First and 10, ball spotted on the 26. Here you're going to see it. You might see a lineman pull out in there too. Yeah, there you see big number 56, I think it was, throws a block. Cutting it back inside, I think, was Thalen. I didn't quite see the yep. play develop. It was Thalen. No, Zach Thalen earlier in the first quarter. Oh, uh, player down for South. No. Thalen's run uh, was only for two yards. Way back in the first quarter, Thalen went off for that one series, and since he's back in, he's been pretty effective. Using those feet, as we mentioned many times, he is a... Uh, Running back from a year ago. I look for my notes. Did a lot of research for this game. Josh uh, Gerald, his brother, is playing tonight, Seth, but he was our uh, leading uh, passer. He was uh, the quarterback last year. Arnie, Mark Arnie was their uh, leading rusher. He was third in conference. He had over 1,200 yards, Chris, 13 touchdowns. Jaro played baseball. And we mentioned about Risto being gone. Uh, Mark Sager only had 281 yards. He was the leading rusher for South last year. Probably the big guy that they missed in terms of the passing game was uh, Curtis Wilson. Yep. 41 catches, uh, averaged almost 18 yards a catch, had seven touchdowns. He was first in the conference, actually. And another kid that's not out there tonight that uh, we expected to see play was uh, Grant Renzelman. He graduated, too. So he's gone. Ooh. Those two combination wide receivers were pretty tough. Yeah, really. And we mentioned Bayport made it to the playoffs last year. They beat uh, Chippewa Falls 34 to 14, and then uh, lost in the next round to Appleton North 23 to seven. And uh, I was looking through the different levels and uh, the conference actually put seven teams in the playoff last year. Yeah, I gotta have a 500 record and. Manitowoc uh, was the last team to get in. Number 59, uh, Willie, E.R. Mende is uh, the player that's down. Hopefully uh, he's going to be able to walk off under his own, on his own, but uh, right now he's uh, down. Scott, why don't we take a short break and uh, come back.
Jimmy's sick again. Well, you were always sick, too. Not like him. You don't remember. He keeps getting infections. Uh, he takes after you. If your child is repeatedly sick, it may be PI, primary immunodeficiency disease, a defect of the immune system. The only way to know is by testing. Mom, this isn't normal. It's normal. It's not normal. Talk to us about PI. We've all solved problems in creative ways. But the quick fix isn't always the best, especially when it comes to your health. Crooked teeth or misaligned jaws could be signs of orthodontic trouble. Quick cosmetic fixes rather than orthodontic treatment may not be the best solution. Teeth that work better look better. And orthodontists improve the look of the mouth by improving tooth alignment and function. Appearance is important, but it's not everything. For a healthy smile, visit an orthodontist. We're back to action. It's going to be second down. New running back in the ball game, taking it around the uh, right end. Jake Connie, and he gets into the end zone. Got pushed out to the sideline, then cut it up and uh, got in. I don't think that's Jake Connie. I, that was, that's the guy who was supposed to be injured, Marty. I don't know who that is. That well, was number 31. They don't know who it is. the same guy it's Thalen they had blood on the jersey Marty so it's Thalen on the run and touchdown he had to switch his jersey because of a blood on there extra point is up and good and with 554 remaining in the third quarter Thalen's 20-yard touchdown run now makes it 21 to six, Bayport. And good for you. Snacks high in calcium help build strong bones and foods rich in fiber are good for your heart. So you have the power to dominate. Can your food do that? Run, throw, think, eat better. Find out more at smallstep.gov. Uh, before we get too far into the rest of this ball game, we do want to mention that uh, Willie Armende did uh, walk off the field with some assistance. He's being tended to in the lower part of your screen on the left side. See a gentleman in a blue coat. Margaret Bauer down there. And uh, hopefully Willie will be okay and be able to come back in the ball game. Taken by Berlin on about the 10 yard line. Skirts one tackler and then is knocked down at about the 20. Well I think we were talking during the break there Marty that uh, in about the first six minutes that uh, Bayport had uh, equaled their offensive uh, output. Well, now they're over it. Yeah. So you have 52 yards on that. Uh, it was a three-play, 52-yard drive, and they had 58 yards in their first drive. That gives them 110 yards of offense. They only had 95 in the entire first half. Rissy pitches out to... Uh, Capitillo and he tries to cut it back but great pursuit by uh, Bayport to shut down Capitillo's attempt. Good job of Bayport really closing the, the gaps there and that has just not opened up all game. There's been no big gainers on the outside for uh, South whatsoever. The little running that they've had success with is basically Rissy up the middle. Rissy had an eight yarder, then he lost six on the sack, and now we had Capitillo on a no gainer, so it's uh, not much from the rushing attack this half so far. Second down and 10. Looks like the small drizzle has gone away for a little bit here. Well, Let's as wait. long as we don't get the uh, lightning. Rissy falling backwards as he throws it out there, and it's incomplete. Missing his wide receiver, Tutis. 
you know, when you're falling back, making that pass attempt, you just uh, you lose distance and accuracy, and uh, you're just getting rushed too hard, I think, Chris. Where did that ball end up? I I kind of lost it there. I don't know, maybe it hit the Dallas scoreboard or something. I think, uh, I think it was woefully short. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. I, I saw Tudis kind of giving up on it. I'm like, was it over his head? Or I kind of <laughs> lost it because it lobbed so high, it went out yeah. of my uh, eyesight. Wide receivers left. And now uh, Tudis goes in motion to the left. Rissi able to step into that throw, but a little bit high, and Tudis not able to come up with it. He wouldn't have gotten much anyway. The defender was right on him. Fourth down and 10. Murray will come in to punt again. You've been counting his punts, Chris? Yep, this <laughs> There's is been number a bundle. six. Number six. Alex Peterson is uh, one of the Men that's uh, back deep. Murray's kick is uh, pretty good, taken at the 50 by Peterson. And uh, he's knocked down at about the 47. So about a three yard return by uh, Zach Peterson. Zach and Alex, I wonder if they're brothers. All right, first and 10, Bayport, ball spotted on the 47. Well, I just assume, Marty, we keep the rain away for at least 45 minutes. Yeah, keep our camera guys, Steve and, uh, and we get everything Richard cleaned dry. Up. Yep. Bayport content to keep it on the ground. Oh boy. And getting through the line of scrimmage and going is uh, Clearman. Oh He's inside boy. the five and knocked down at about the three yard line. What a run by Dylan Clearman, holy hey, cow. Let's, he, let's watch the film. No pursuit. From the 12 minute mark of the first quarter to about the uh, 3.50 of the second quarter and show you this is how we tackle. And then the last drive of the half and these couple, this is not how we tackle. Because you know you can do it, Sheboygan South. You just haven't shown it for a while here. 45 yard run by Clearman. Clearman battling. Wow. Or actually that was number 29, Alex Peterson. He gets the touchdown. Two yard run. I'll tell you now, that's not fair, Chris. It's just not fair. It's not fair that Clearman runs at 45 yards, gets it in position, <laughs> and they give it to another guy. At least they didn't give it to the Thalen again because if he would have scored, he would have been the leading touchdown guy in the state after the first week. Good. Extra point is good again, and it's now 28 to six. has not been a, a good uh, quarter. There's uh, 4.06 remaining in the third. Two plays, Chris. Uh, shock, I guess, is the biggest thing I have. I can't believe what I just... Well, let me ask you this, Chris, and I don't mean to be negative, but is this a shock? Or is the way South played in the first half where they were, I mean, they held the lead throughout, I mean, the entire half almost until yep. less than a less 30, than a minute remaining. 38 seconds left, yeah. I mean, we expected Bayport to come out here and roll somewhat. I know they're missing some good players from last year, but uh, I thought the way South played in that first half, well, I was I was somewhat surprised. Yeah, I, I and think. And the defense was it. Yeah, I think they're, uh, I don't think they're as bad as the last eight minutes. No, definitely not. And you had mentioned it in the second quarter about a fatigue factor. You know, we're wondering how that plays into it all. And Bayport's big, and those big guys wear on you after a while. Berlin takes it right at the goal line. But there is nothing but white shirts in front. Look at this. 
Berlin trying to squeak through, but uh, he's not even gonna get to the 20-yard line. But he ran about 60. And again, you, know, you looked at the kickoff. I mean, somebody in the red has gotta slow down somebody coming down on that. There, there was a number of times now on kickoffs that uh, the white shirts seem to like to be untouched. And uh, look at this. Now watch all the white shirts that come, well, okay, come into the screen. I mean, that's the wrong angle that I saw, but yeah, you you'll get my the gist of what I'm trying to say there. Right. They're not being, they're not being chipped even. Earn your oats uh, if you're on the special teams. You don't have to play. Earn them. Watch the film tomorrow. Rissy, off right, uh, left tackle. Pardon me. Gets it up to about the 24-yard uh, line. Pick up a five. South really got to go again here. They've really gone away from this scheme. We saw this earlier. We tried to do some running, but now we're going to go back to the uh, three wide receiver sets. Dan Kyle in the backfield with Rissy. Three wide receivers, two to the left. Uh, not a very good snap, but uh, Rissy makes a nice catch and uh, runs it up to about the 28. Gonna be third down and two. We mentioned the snaps. That's gotta get better too. It's a long season, but uh, if you're gonna be the center for varsity, you can be taking hundreds of snaps every day during the summer and. Brent Jacobs. Another see another uh, good pickup. Throws as he's hit and uh, Capetillo not able to make the play. You know, and Bayport too is they're <laughs> just starting to bring Jake Stadler <laughs> on the coverage. Went right to the bench. He ain't gonna get the ball. <laughs> Let somebody else get it. I was gonna say the uh There was a penalty on the play. We'll have to see where that's all about. The Pirates sent the whole crew. <laughs> they're coming at you now. You know that South's gotta throw the ball, so they're gonna have blitzes coming from everywhere and uh well, there was a penalty of holding on South, but uh, Bayport declines it and is going to force South to uh, punt. You know, they had uh, five yards on a run, three yards on a run, and then they went away from running. They, uh, in a series before this, Chris, they had an eight-yard run, then he went right back to the passing, and uh, Rissy got sacked for a minus six, and uh, they're having trouble establishing anything. Low liner by Murray. Gets a little bit of a nice drop, and then uh, Peterson runs it up into South Territory at about the 48. Two thirty-eight remaining. It's 28 to six. It's been Bayport from the second, late in the second quarter, up until now. They've uh, really established themselves since that slow start. They're gonna pack sand here, Marty. They're gonna run the football. Oh, good uh, pressure that time by South. They knock uh, Broberg for a big loss. In at quarterback is uh, Alex Schmidt again. I think that was Travis Barber. Barber, uh, I think he's the one that's filling in for Willie. Broberg on a loss of five, the first play that has lost yardage this half for uh, Bayport. Ball spotted on the 47 of Bayport. Low and wide receiver out here to the left. Schmidt fakes the handoff. Looking deep, throws as he's hit, and it's incomplete. Good pressure that time by Ashton Huffman. As I mentioned, at this time, Bayport will be running the football. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you got to get that substitute in there, let him throw a little bit. Uh, I no well, hey, about that. What's that, the first throw of the second half? <laughs> <laughs> it is, and uh, that's Huffman's second throw of the ball game. He's 0 for 2. They want to get him a completion. You mean Schmidt, Alex Schmidt. 
Is that who's quartering? Yep, yeah. Schmidt. Schmidt. <laughs> Third down. Inside handoff to Broberg, and he's hit right at the line of scrimmage. That was the play that uh, was the big gainer. A nice play inside by uh, Lancer. Fourth down. A lot of red shirts on the field. Oh boy, they're taking a long time here, Bayport. Capitillo and uh, Berlin back. This is the uh, first punt. I thought Wagner had one earlier in the since game. Since 5.05 <laughs> in the first quarter. This is actually his third punt. Third one. Catch by Berlin, he's running backwards. Head up the field. Yeah, good little chip block there, and he's got the corner up to the 30, 40, 50, trying to cut it back, and he's knocked down at about the 41-yard uh, line. Great return by Ethan Berlin. Well, Chris Hines said in his interview in the coaches show that uh, Berlin can run, and boy, he showed it there. First down and 10, ball spotted on the 42. Speaking of coaches show. Tomorrow, 9.30. Tomorrow at 9.30, it'll be on Tuesday at 6.30, and then Wednesday at two o'clock. Each one of those times following the coaches show, you'll see a broadcast of this game. Oh, get on it, boys. Jeez. Kyle making the recovery. I've seen a lot of that today. You don't. Yeah, that's a product of a bad snap again, I think, Chris. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say we've seen a lot of that today, and it's got to get fixed. It's just a sophomore, but uh, you got to get do a better job here. Come on, kid. Second down and that's twelve. That's a good one. Inside handoff to Kyle, he slithers up to the 46, only a gain of one. Much better there, Eric, good snap there. Nice and quick, and that's the quarter, Marty. At the end of three quarters of play, Bayport on top, 28 to six. Our story begins with a journey for knowledge. For research indicates that when a parent takes a more active role in their child's quest for education, that child will be bestowed with higher grades and higher sense of being. Just a wee bit of time out of your meeting schedule is all it takes to show your allegiance. Hear what your kids are saying. Get more involved. Join your local PTA. Dick. Tick. 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 Massive tick. heat waves. Tick. Heat waves. Tick. Severe droughts. Tick. 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 Devastating. Tick. Devastating tick. hurricanes. Tick. 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 Our future tick. Tick. is up tick. Tick. to you. Tick. Go to fightglobalwarming.com while there's still time. Just totaling out the uh, third quarter rushing yardage for uh, Bayport. They had 16 carries for 126 yards. South with a third down play, it's third and 12. Rissi at the controls, he's been there most of the night. Berlin uh, took it to start the game and then it's been Rissi the rest of the night. Rissi, good throw out to a Rupnik and he latches onto it and makes the catch down to the 15 yard line. Need more of that. Need a lot of that. You're right there, Chris. It's going to be first and 10 south. There you get a good look at it. Rissy stepping into the throw that time. Thirty-yard pickup on that play. Thirty. 
<laughs> First and 10. Kyle. You know what I've seen on and off, uh, mostly on from the uh, Bayport uh, lineman, defensive lineman, is uh, making that step up to the line of scrimmage, you know, in, in a way trying to draw the offense to, to move. And uh, that time they got called for the penalty. It's their sixth of the game. First down and five. Ball on the 20, pardon me, ball on the 15 yard, 16 yard line. 11 yard line, whoa. Coach Hines got a call timeout again. He's, oh boy. First game, first game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually that uh, pass play to uh, Rupnik was a 40 yarder, Chris. Thought when they spotted the ball, it was uh, at the 26, but it was really at the 16. And then the uh, five yard penalty put it down to the 11. 11-14 11 remaining in the ball game. Uh, Bayport on top, 28 to six, but uh, South definitely threatening. Well, this is the 11th possession for South, Marty, and uh, they've punted seven times. and One interception. And, uh, the end of the half. Nine. So, so that's... They must uh, have lost one. They had a touchdown. It's 10. One. Yep, and this is the 11th. So got to get some points if you're going to get back in this baby. Big touchdown here. Got to got to get in here. Brendan Johnson is split off to the left. Tudis and Rupnik off to the right. Kyle is alone setback with uh, Rissy. Good snap. Oh, putting the hammer down that time was uh, Kevin Rickert. We've called his name several times. Uh, definitely a blitz. Rissy gets. Uh, Knocked down, ball spotted on the 18 yard line. Loss of seven. You can still get a first down without getting a touchdown. You just gotta get down to about the five. Five and a half there. We gotta score this drive. Two backs back there for blocking, fake the Capitillo. Rissy stepping into the throw. He's got to thread the needle and can't quite do it. Rupnik was his intended receiver. That would have been quite a completion if he makes that play. Yeah, I agree with your uh, explanation because... <laughs> <laughs> there was a, a defender in front of him and a defender behind him. Yeah, and a long throw. Yeah, that is a long throw. He's on the left hash mark throwing it to the wide side of the field, uh, almost to the corner of the end zone. You know what they haven't run for a while is that little slant. They had some success running the pattern earlier today. They had guys open, you're but right. But they didn't complete the passes. I know, uh, see if they can get Tudis here. Maybe they can get him in front of the... Brady safety. Callahan is the tight end on the left side. They haven't looked at him at all this game. Rissy looking. Coming back the other way, as intended receiver, Lang was double covered. Pass goes incomplete. Well, the idea there is to flow to the right, throw back, but uh, well defended, as you said, Marty. Yep. Uh, Bayport uh, read their keys that time. Now on fourth down, there is no choice but to give it a shot here. Make sure you get at yeah. least to the five. Slow getting the play in. They may uh, get a five yard delay a game. They have to hustle it up. They're in their last couple seconds here. Back Capitillo and Lang, two fastest guys on the team are in the backfield. Yep. Once they uh, time out south, uh, keep from getting a penalty. 
Well, once they sent that guy in motion, you know it's going to take too long then. Yep, and it was about, I know there was about a second left. Now, this timeout, I don't mind. This one you got to have. Our uh, next broadcast is going to be next Friday when Green Bay West invades Sheboygan North. That game will count in the conference standings. Uh, of course, all the games that are played uh, through the course of the season count towards your uh, playoff eligibility. Although Chris was saying earlier that you got to finish 500 in league. Yep. So even though South in all likelihood will lose this ball game, at least it won't count towards their playoff eligibility. Well, last year, North but lost uh, to West 15 to seven and... Uh, big thank you goes out to uh, both coaches, uh, Chris Hine and Mike Willaquette for uh, getting us their starters and uh, information for our broadcast. Uh, we truly appreciate that help. Really helps us do a better job <laughs> sometimes. Here we go, they gotta get it. Fourth and 12. Not a good snap. Rissy scoops it up. Deep pass. Tudis double covered. Touchdown. And he's got the catch. He comes up with the ball. It's a touchdown. Oh, man. Double covered. Tudis goes up and comes down with it. You need two here. You need two. Good decision by the officials to wait. Here's the replay, Marty. He goes, oh, that ball went right through the first defender's hands. You know, it could have been deep off the, I don't know if he got his feet in, but. He did. <laughs> well, there's a lot of lines back there, but we're not going to argue. 28-yard completion for a touchdown. Looks like uh, Red Wings are going to go for two, which would make sense. Capatillo and Lang in the backfield. Two wide receivers off to the right. Rissi barking the signals. Straight back. Throw is uh, incomplete. Looking for Rupnik. With 10.06 uh, remaining in the ball game, it's now Bayport 28 and South 12. Let's play a game. Let's pretend. You own an apartment building and I want to rent from you. I make a good salary, have a good credit history. Would you rent your place to me? How about now? Do you still like me? What if I have an accent or a disability? What if I'm a single parent? Would you steer me away? Would you close the door? Would you? The Fair Housing Act protects your right to live where you want. If you think you've been discriminated against, call us. There you see back at South High, 10.06 remaining in the fourth quarter. Chris asking me during the break, you know, is it too early to go for two? I don't think it was. And then when Chris saw there were still two touchdowns and two two-point conversions, yeah, go for it, doesn't matter. Yep. Jake Planton gives it the boot, not very deep. It's gonna be taken at the uh, 20 and he's down, down right there. Making the catch, the guy with the best number on the field, A.G. Kelnins, number 25. Got to love that number. <laughs> and not because of that guy up north that has number 25. First and 10, Bayport. Uh, now, let's say it together. Going to see a big dose of running. <laughs> well, we got to get a big stop. They got to stop last time caused a punt and got the same situation, but they did put it up last time. Bayport running a little more misdirection this half. They didn't do that much in the first half. Straight handoff up the middle. Lottie scrambling forward. Or was that Broberg? Yeah, Lottie, number 32. And uh, picks up uh, too many yards. That was a seven yard pickup, Chris. Second down. Lottie and Broberg in the backfield. Broberg the halfback. Give it to Lottie up the middle. 
He's hit right at the point of attack, but uh, scrambles forward. Lancer making the initial contact, but I think uh, Lottie's got enough for the first down. Maybe not. Yes, he does. Ball spotted at the 31. Give Lottie a four-yard pickup. Well, you got to stop now, Chris. Gave him one first down. Nate Huffman, the wide out to the right. Schmidt on the uh, option and then making the stop. Well, the first hit was uh, Travis Barber. You know, there's Travis Barber stepping up. Not starter, but now when he comes in with an injury, made some big plays. Loss of one. Uh, we do see uh, Willie Iarmende standing on the sidelines with his helmet off. So uh, although he's was injured and had to leave the game, at least he's uh, vertical. Yep. Timeout, Bayport. Well, as long as we're talking schedule. We mentioned next week uh, West is at North where they begin conference play. After that, it'll be uh, Elkhart Lake at uh, Kohler, Lutheran, Christian. And that game will be played at Kohler. And then on the uh, 18th of September, we have De Pere at North. So good lineup of games coming up, Chris. Hopefully we'll get them all in. That goofy rain has started. Yeah, there you can see it in the background very clearly, and the umbrellas up in the stands. Dan Edis uh, talking to the troops. What do you tell them at this point? We got to get a stop, and the other negative part is the fact they have no timeout. So, you know, hey, maybe we can poke one away in the wet here. You know, we got to be aggressive. We got to be aggressive because we don't have the timeout to use. We got to get stops, and we got to get them quickly. <laughs> Okay, we got uh, second down and 11. Lottie was hit for a loss on that uh, last play. Broberg slips through, battling through, and uh, he's going to have a first down. Broberg uh, was the starting back, but hasn't seen a great deal of action, Chris, and uh, I think he's uh, mad. He wants to get the ball more. It's going to be a first and 10 ball on the 42. That was a 12-yard pickup. That hurt. Just Clock a, running. Yep. Every first down is going to cost you about two, two and a half minutes. And uh, eight minute. We're at the eight minute mark now in counting. Fumble. fumble. Who's got it? South has recovered one fumble so far. That one coming in the end zone. Schmidt uh, on the fumble. It's wet. Wet no game. It's going to be second down and 10. Nick Beasy, the wide out over here on the right. Lottie and Broberg in the backfield. Schmidt hands it off to Broberg. And he gets knocked down. Good tackle made. Good tackle made by number 15, Travis Aarons. Almost cartwheeled him there. Well, you definitely saw a strong side right there, and good job of filling that time by the Red Wings. Setting up another third and long. They gotta get a stop now that we're under seven minutes, trailing by 16. Third down and eight. Schmidt fakes the handoff. Oh, gave it to the first back. Lottie, he had everybody fooled on that, including the north-south defense. And uh, Lottie takes it all the way down to about the 39-yard line. Ah. They go back to the middle where they've done their Done work. a lot of damage there. A lot of work being involved in the trenches. And another two and a half minutes is going to click off. 18-yard scramble or 
pickup that time by Lottie. Wow. I thought he faked the both backs and all of a sudden Lottie's running right up the middle. Oh, there's a little bit of movement on the front of the line by uh, Bayport. Should we mention his name? He's the punter. <laughs> it's all right, Mitch. It happens. First down and 15. Don't lose this, Marty. 6-14 and counting. <laughs> North plays Bayport in a regular conference game up there. Bayport up in Ashwaubenon tonight. Oh boy. Lottie running hard, barreling down inside the 25. Lottie's a senior fullback, 5'9", 167, and he's been a load. First and 10. Ball spotted on the 23-yard uh, line. 20-yard pickup by Lottie. No, I don't think he played in the first half. He had 36 yards in the third quarter. 46, 56, 66, 77, 84 yards this half by Lottie. Broberg has some blocking but uh, is knocked down at the 20. Pick up of about three yards. Well, they found something, Marty. It's either up the middle or to the right. It's up the middle or to the right. It's up the middle or to the right. Use those big 290 pound tackles. I thought they ran some off to the left. <laughs> Actually, you know what, seriously, it is between the tackles, basically. Yep. Lottie the fullback, Broberg the halfback, Beasy the tight end on the right side, Schmidt on a handoff to Lottie, and uh, he gets knocked down at about the 16-yard uh, line. But they are moving forward in the rain. 428, 427, no timeouts left. Pick up a four that time by Lottie. Once again, we're in that four down territory. They're not gonna try any extra, or excuse me, field goals or anything from here and they're wet. Their first attempt was brutal. <laughs> it wasn't even that good. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> a lot of people up the middle there for South. Are they gonna bring it? Yes, they are. They go left. Broberg. Got around the uh, bulk of the south defense and uh, gets a first down, down to about the 10 yard line. I don't know if that was what's called. And you can see the rain now on your uh, television sets. It's a coming. Yeah, pick up a five yards that time by Broberg. Just enough for the first down. It's gonna be first down at the 11. So they can get another first down, Chris. If South can stop them inside the one, but there's uh, 340 and counting left in the ball game. Bayport on top, 28 to 12. And this drive started at the 10:06 mark. We asked for a stop and hasn't been done yet. Ooh, Ooh. but he got the handoff to uh, I think that was Lottie. Abe Yang got through. But, uh, Schmidt got hit, but he's. Yeah, he's gonna feel that one tomorrow. Second down, pick up a three by Lottie. Seven minute drive, as we're under three now. Lottie the fullback, Broberg the halfback, Schmidt the quarterback. All on the ground here for Bayport. Lottie up the middle, he's hit at the point of attack but still falls forward for a couple of yards. In on the tackle was uh, James Lancer. You see where the ball is spotted, Chris? Is that about the four yard line? Yep. So we'll pick up a three. Third down. Two 
2.20 remaining in the ball game. South trying to prevent a Bayport score. Pitch out to Lottie, cuts it back up the middle. He's close. If he's not in the end zone, Chris, he's got the first down and that's what it is. So Lottie runs for three more yards. This is your classic three yards and a cloud of dust. It's going to be first and goal at the one. Eight minutes on the drive. Lottie's got 60 yards in the quarter. How many plays have they run off? Eight. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Schmidt, oh, that is not fair. <laughs> Schmidt on a one yard keeper gets it in for a touchdown. Lottie, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine carries, and he stands and watches somebody else score the touchdown. You don't like that, do you? Oh, I hate that. That happened to me in high school all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I do all the work, and somebody else gets the points. That wow. doesn't happen in basketball, though, I'll tell you that. Because <laughs> you don't pass. I just expect it back. Kick is up and good. And with 138 remaining, Bayport on top, 35-12. to 12. Let's play a game. Let's pretend you own an apartment building and I want to rent from you. I make a good salary, have a good credit history. Would you rent your place to me? How about now? Do you still like me? What if I have an accent or a disability? What if I'm a single parent? Would you steer me away? Would you close the door? Would you? The Fair Housing Act protects your right to live where you want. If you think you've been discriminated against, call us. Drivers face all kinds of distractions. Before your wireless phone becomes one of them, stop. Drive safely. Keep your phone in easy reach and dial sensibly. In bad weather or traffic, call later and use a hands-free device. Remember, with wireless, safety is your call. Hey, kick off. Taken by Capitillo, trying to get around and uh, good cover up that time by Bayport as they've really done all night for the most part except a long return by uh, Ethan Berlin but uh, Capitillo pretty much bottled up, gets it out to about the 20 yard line. It'll be first and 10 south from there. Well they didn't play bad Marty the first half I I don't know as we mentioned a couple times if Bayport's I, that much better or well, I do think they need to iron out the offense they got to get a little more uh, in sync with what's going on they're, if they're going to do the passing game that's fine but then you got to start to protect a little better and uh, catch a little better and throw a little more accurately yep Rissy up the middle a little bit of an opening, gets a good block, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard uh, line. Good run there by uh, Jake, 15-yard pickup. Uh, I don't want to see your quarterback get clunked here in a game that's basically out of hand. Uh, Got to be a little bit careful here. 121 remaining. Maybe South can uh, tack on a score here late. But uh, I don't want to see anybody get hurt. Oh, oh. there was definitely movement on uh, the flag is down. That's right. Capitillo is uh, basically running for nothing there. Oh, how about they call it on Bayport because he jumped first. Ball is down to the uh, Bayport 41-yard line. Bayport jumped first. But uh, I don't know if they're going to call that. 9-24... Center 
See, what happened was the end kind of moved, and so then the tackle moved. And uh, Yeah, let's see what they got here. They got it on uh, South. Yep. Illegal Legal motion. Shift. Whatever. Yeah. It's a penalty on us. See, watch him jump here on the... Uh, see how he jumps, and then he jumps. Yeah, it was, I think it was 97. Yeah, Callahan was, but, did the jumping, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, but the end moved first. Ball spotted on the 30, it's uh, second, first and 15. Ethan Berlin in the ball game. Ooh. <laughs> Everybody went what but the center, there's something wrong there. It's time to just uh, call her here. Last thing you want is, like I said, is somebody get hit here. Well, we don't mind them getting hit, we just don't want them getting hurt. Yep. First down and 20, ball back to the 25 yard line and they're marching backwards, this is not good. 111 remaining. Tudis and Capitillo wide left, Rupnik wide right, Berlin in the backfield at quarterback. Berlin uh, trying to get positive yardage and does, gets it up to about the 29 yard line. Picks up four. Second down and 16, clock running, 45 seconds and clock is moving. Pass out to uh, Capitillo is incomplete. And again, uh, not a very good snap, Chris. Uh, third down. We have to get those center snaps squared away for next week. Too many bad ones. Oh, another roller. Pitch out to uh, Lang. Uh, pardon me, Kyle. And uh, he gets it up to about the uh, 38, but it's going to be far short of a first down. 19, 18, 17. Here we go. Last play. We think. Four. Three, two, Berlin slips down, and that's the ball game. That's the ball game. Bayport wins it by a score of 35 to 12. Uh, they really got the offense moving in the second half. Uh, this kid, uh, Zach Lottie, had 115 yards all in the second half, and uh, that just begins to uh, tell the story of uh, how they moved the ball here, Chris, yeah. second half-wise, anyhow. Yeah, they really took over in the second half, controlled the line of scrimmage, and three unanswered quick ones there to start the third, and it's just uphill for South after that. Even though it wasn't a, you know, the kind of outcome South wanted, they still did play pretty good on defense at times. Uh, that's going to do it for our uh, broadcast uh, this ball game. For the crew, Richard Batzner on uh, field camera, Steve Reiner up on top, Scott Mayloff directing and spinning the dials and showing us all those great replays. For my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you down the road.